Good morning, family. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is February the 8th, 2016, and it is about 10.35 in the a.m., and I come on to talk about something, so we're not going to put everybody out the room, okay? We not, we need Willie and Charlie and them in here. We don't need them to put nobody out. You know what I'm saying? Clyde, he has some things to do, so he ain't going to be here tonight. No way. But Wendell said that he, did, he, he didn't have no problem with working the dough, so he working the dough, and I got the ushers up in here, and that's going to be Willie and Charlie. And we all decided that we're going to allow everybody to be in here, and everybody going to act right, because this is a topic that we need to talk about. We need to get this out in the open, so then therefore men know what time it is, and women are up on their game. Okay? Now, we going to talk about coochie care and overall women's hygiene, okay? Now, we're going to start from the top. We're going to start from the top, okay? Now, a woman should be washing her hair at least once a week. Once a week, in my opinion, a woman should be washing her hair. Now, depend on what type of style you rocking and things of that nature all those things go into play with that but when you start going a little bit past that week and now you know sweat done built up and especially if you work out a lot you know and you sweat a lot and things of that then therefore you know some things you got to be a little bit cognizant about now and another thing too is um the type of uh pillowcases ladies that you're using as well because it can also interfere with your beauty treatments and your care of your facial skin as well when you know you're not changing your pillowcases as often and it's always best to use silk as opposed to using cotton now a little small little thing i know brothers ain't want to hear all this shit the background of all that but it just cuts down on the tugging of the skin of your face and some people would say it will cause wrinkles it will also break off your hair dry your hair out because of the cotton so to be a little bit more easy on your thing you might want to go with silk i'm just saying or you know at least a head wrap or something like that wrap your hair up when you go to bed i know brothers y'all got a problem with bonnets and all that but it's a method to the madness on the reason why a lot of women kind of want to cover their hair up when they go to sleep. It's not the fact that they don't want you to see that their edges is gone. Or that, you know what I'm saying? Or some of the shingles them blew off the roof. Some of that could be the case too. Reason why she go ahead on and wrap her shit up every time you come. You know what I'm saying? But then too, another thing is, you know, she just trying to keep her little dude kept up. So then therefore when she unwrap this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? There it is. There it go. Do what you need. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, we want to just start off with some good Whatever your hair get down is, however way you rolling, units, wigs, braids, whatever twist going to be, whatever. Just kind of keep it clean, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of wash it regularly so then therefore you won't have no build up and, you know, the brother, he's sniffing your hair while you sleep. See, you don't know that. But I, I'm the one that's telling you that when you go to sleep and you got your, your face all on his chest and all that other type of shit, he's sniffing your hair and shit, your neck, your ears, the back of them, all that. I'm telling you the truth. So you want to be on deck at all times, always stand edible ready. That is just your goal. Now, girls, now um, me personally, I use Dove. I use Dove and I use Olay. Now, first of all, I this is a hand towel, okay? This is a hand towel. The one that's smaller than this is considered as a washcloth. The one that's bigger than this is a bath towel. Then you have your bath blanket, which will be much bigger than your regular bath towel. I need to say that because some women don't know the difference. You know, they don't know the difference that there's a difference in the washcloth and all that other shit. Now, girls, you cannot come in there and use a loafers to clean your private parts with. You don't clean your private parts front to back with loafers, sponges, and all of that. It's just not clean. It's not hygienic. You're going to fuck around and have a, a pH imbalance because that plastic and all that shit is holding on to some shit that need to be gone. You know what I mean? So you don't want to use that. When you're cleaning your private parts, when we get to that, you want to use 
a washcloth, but I just wanted to start off with, you know, I don't have the washcloth before me, but I do have my, um, my pink, um, um, hand towel. So this is what we're going to use. This is going to be exhibit A on how we're going to do what we're going to do on today. Now, but first, you want a good moisturizing soap. I don't give a damn what it is. Equate, that's a Walmart brand, up and up, it's Target. And, you know what I'm saying, different ones got their different get down. CVS got theirs, and everybody got their own. But as a woman, you should be wanting to be soft. You know, you want to be cupcake and cuddly and shit. You want your shit soft. To have your shit soft, you always want to use good moisturizing uh, 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 soaps and things. Now, I just happen to like Dove. I like Dove. I also have a caress here. You know what I'm saying? This is my last box of caress. And where I'm grabbing all this shit off of is your little caddy. You want to buy you one of these. During um, the, the start of school season, they have these all the time for dormitory young ladies. And every woman should have one, especially if you're going to the gym and all that kind of shit. You go to somebody else's house and stay tonight. night. Have your shit in this right here so then therefore you can take it to the shower with you. You got all your shit in one place to where you pull out what you need when you need it. You know what I'm saying? You just need one of them. Okay, I got a couple of them. This is the one that sits um, around my bathtub and my bathtub area where my candles go. This sits over there as well. And I have one for that. I have one that's in my sauna that's totally different that have all my sauna incorporated things like some of the things I brought out here. So in my other caddy, it has that. But you need your caddies, though, real shit. When you're going to go get your pedicures and things, have your own caddy. I should have brought that in here, too, because I got my nail caddy. When I go and get a pedicure, I bring out my own utensils that they need. My own rocks, my own scrubs, my own brushes, my own everything. So then, therefore, pull out of my kit on what you need online. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not going to cross-contaminate and bring all this shit over here with me. You're not going to do it. So I got to have all my own shit. So, but yeah, so you want to have something good of that nature. You also want to be able to slough off the dead layers of, on your skin. See, your skin is the lar largest organ on your body, you know, and it constantly, your body rejuvenates itself, you know, and to slough off all those things, you need to dry brush every day. This is my uh, dry brush that I have. I got it from um, the body shop. Now, dry brushing is a good thing to do. Women, you want to do that every day. It um, increases your lymphatic drainage throughout your lymphatic system. It also sloughs off dead cells and all that. It gives your body a glow, all those types of things. You want to dry brush every day, okay? And then it smooths your body out to where, as you know, it can kind of help a little bit with cellulite, which is a good thing, you know what I'm saying? But you also, for skin breaks out, breakouts and all that, you want to dry brush every day. It's just a good practice to do. And you want a good natural uh, bristle brush to do that. So, and this is the one that I use for that. I also, I'm not going to show this too tough because it's a little dirty, but this is what I use, you know, for my cellulite and such. And I also have the mitt. Um, these are my sauna gadgets that I have, my little sauna things that I use on my body and on my skin while I'm in there. My last five minutes, I'm sloughing my body off. I'm getting this glow going. I'm increasing my lymphatic system, boosting my immune system, all those things. All those things you want to be able to do to your body, okay? So, girls, yeah, you want some things that kind of increase the circulation in your body, and these types of things is what do that. Now, um, what else we want to talk about? We want to talk about a little coochie care, can we? Because now I done done my fair share of videos. We done talked about refresh. We done talked about peppermint soap. We done done all that shit for years. Go look it up. It's all right there, okay? Now, and I still stand firm on all of that. But if you want something that's going to have you balanced, going to keep you edible ready, it's not going to fuck up what's getting ready to take place. You know what I'm saying? He ready to go. You done got up, got your shower. You know what I'm saying? Got your little smell goods and shit on. You don't want no refresh getting ready to drip out because you just done put this in here two days ago. Now, it's still a little remnant still in there. Even though it's gone, it's still in there a little bit and it's going to change up the taste. You don't want to do that to him. You know what I'm saying? You want him to keep going there. You want him to constantly come and check that out every now and again. So, to have him to be able to do that, what you want to get girls is this right here. 
This is the best shit on the world. Do you understand me? This is the best shit in the world. Oh, my God, girls. If you don't get this in your rotation, you're bullshitting. Okay? Now, I've had this now over a year. I can't see where my feel line. Oh, okay. It's about right here. Okay? I only use this for what I need it for. I'm not using this to clean my back, the back of my knees, my kneecaps, ankles, none of that shit, that back of the ear. None of that shit. I'm using... My washcloth with my soap, okay, a little fake-ass demo. I'm sudsing up my washcloth, okay? This is already soapy with my dub, my caress, whatever I'm rolling with, equate, came, whatever your get-down is. You're going to suds up your washcloth. You're going to take this and just simply one drop, boop, the size smaller than a dime. That's it. That's all you need because you're just using it for front to back. You ain't using it for nothing else. So when it come to the time to clean that coochie up, you're going to just drop a drop in this right here. You're going to hit that motherfucker from the front to the back. Now, I'm going to need you to go through the layers of this thing. You know that there's layers and folds and all that kind of shit. You're going to have to go through all of them. Now, especially if you're still hairy. I done told you I take the sweaters off them motherfuckers a long time ago. Excuse me. Now... I got to tell it the way I the way I can. Ladies, if you do not cut off some of that hair off of your goddamn coochie, that is another reason why it holds on to heat, must, smell, pH balance be thrown off, all that kind of shit. Because see, hair is very porous. So hell, even if he come, if he come inside you and some of them, when he pull out and some of it just, you know what I'm saying? It's all in the hair now. It's just, it's just all bad. I mean, why do you want all this hair on your pussy? Now, the only brothers that's really liking that shit is them old ass 1976 shaft watching ass niggas. Them the only ones that's liking that shit. Them the only ones that's really on that shit is them old school welcome back quarter type ass brothers. New school niggas, they pretty much want your shit to be clean. At least well kept. At least. So, what I choose to use when it's that time and I need to go ahead on and clean this girl up, I use intuition. It already has. And see, you can tell this motherfucker's been used. You see, it's already down to the blade and shit. Yeah. Um, This motherfucker right here is the shit. It already got the cream and shit on it. All you do is wet it and handle that. That's it. You don't need no extra product, nothing. It's already, when this motherfucker on here, okay, it snaps on and off. I ain't finna do all that. But this snaps on, snaps off, and you just buy the refills, and this is what you use. You just wet it. It's already got the, everything. This is what's happening. This will take the sweat off. It'll leave it baby soft, smooth. They got aloe kind. They got shea butter. They got all cucumber and all kind of different things. Whatever your get down is. They do have that scent for you. Now, this is what you're going to need. This is going to keep that motherfucker together. I promise you, this will keep it together. It will change your pH balance, have you level, all that shit. Your shit will be edible ready all the time if you just take that goddamn hair off. Now, another thing, you know, we as women, we got away from dushing because dushing is something, excuse me, got a little gurgles. But dushing um, dries you out. You don't want to be dushing with motherfucking alum alum fellas listen to me those of you guys that know no, don't know nothing about alum and those of my old school ass niggas that watches they know that alum was used by women in the 70s to tighten their coochies back up so if you was fucking with gerald and gerald was you know what i'm saying his circumference wasn't that big but then you start fucking with dante and now this nigga blew your back out then therefore, when you go back to this other nigga, you need your shit to be kind of tightened up a little bit like, you know what I'm saying, it's back to normal. Well, what they would take is a little alum. You find it in the condiment aisle over there by that sage and cumin and motherfucking nutmeg and shit. It's one of them made by McCormick. It's a little bit of your thing. But those of you guys that's freaky that way and you need that in your rotation, I'm going to tell you where you find it at. It's called alum. A-L-U-M. Alum. Okay? Now... <clears throat> You put a little bit in the water, and it will shrink up the insides of your coochie. Now, I don't know. I've never really used that. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to dry you out or anything like that. 
But my mama was a beauty shop owner in the 70s. And all this shit is what I be talking to y'all about is shit that, that my mama and them used to talk about on the weekends. On them Saturdays, them long Saturday days back in the day. They talking about everything. Men's dicks, pussies, everything. You know what I'm saying? The church, all that shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But my mama had one of these. Okay, and it hung in my shower as a little girl. And I was like, damn, what's going on with this motherfucker? And then if you had a little problem, she'd take the handle off and then just put this all back together. And that was a heat pad, wasn't it? So we used this for all kind of things. But uh-oh, and this motherfucker is dripping. Ain't that a bitch? This bitch is dripping. That lets you know a bitch is clean. Don't worry about it. Uh, we got a little uh, technical difficulties. Everything is wet up, but it don't matter. That lets you know that I'm clean, okay? Now... After my period, I don't get my menses every every time now because now I'm a little bit older. I'm 44 years old. I, this bitch come when she want to. You know what I'm saying? But she always give a little, you know, a little inclination that I'm on the way. Just let this nigga know. Yeah. But after she come and go, then therefore I hit hit it with a little bit of this. I don't put no additive, no nothing, no 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 vinegar, no nothing, because all that shit do dry you out. So you don't want to do all that plus to change up the pH balance, but just run a little water through, just a little cool water through. You know what I'm saying? Hot water going to make you bleed more, so you don't want to do hot water in the inside of there. No way. Hot water is drying, it's constricting, all that kind of stuff. It brings, the, it does bring, um, open up your blood vessels and bring blood through, but then therefore you don't want to do that if you're just coming off your period. Now you're making, you still making yourself spot. So you want to come through with cool water because cool is going to close up, you know, close and calm down those capillaries and things. And, you know, really make that motherfucker just flush out and, and that little spot and shit will go away. So this is my dish bag of, of choice. My hot water bottle, as my mama used to call it. So, yeah, this is what I use for that. And it works just fine. Now, what I use on my skin, this right here, this right here. Cocoa butter and shea butter, Johnson & Johnson's baby oil. You see, ain't that much in this motherfucker. Now, when I buy it, I usually buy one, get one half off. You know what I'm saying? That right there, throw, plus throw my little extra bucks and shit on there to probably get it free. But, yeah, but this is how I do mine, and this is what I wear on my skin. I don't put a lot of lotions and stuff like that. I do have a nice-ass beauty cream that Loretta sent me, and I only use that when I really want to fuck this nigga up. You know what I'm saying? Really make my shit on some cotton soft type shit. You know what I'm saying? But after I get through sloughing and buffing and all this shit with all this kid of shit I got, baby, I get to pulling out so many shit on this nigga. He's like, wait a minute, what up? Why it take all that? What are you trying to do? What is, what's going on? Yeah, don't worry about it. After I get through with this kid of shit right here, nigga, everything is going to be edible ready. I promise you. Yeah. So, but this is the, 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 the oil that I use on my skin. This is what time it is. This is what's happening in this called Johnson & Johnson, baby. You know what I'm saying? Oil. Now, for my feet, I need me a new one. Don't fuck with it. I already see that it's dusty as hell and every damn thing else. But this right here, the best shit that they came out with. Now, this is called an Emma Pay. Okay, this is the lick like a motherfucker. When they came out with this, they done something. Now they got a new one came out that's also waterproof. Now this one, I wouldn't advise it. But uh, this one here is the lick like a motherfucker. I need to get me a new refill because this one right here ain't, you know what I'm saying. And then too, I've even used this on my dude. I even cleaned this, dusted this motherfucking ass. I had to, you know what I'm saying. Because they come to the bedroom wrong sometimes. Sometimes they don't know what to do. Sometimes we got to give them pedicures and shit. I don't oppose none of that shit. I didn't I didn't fillet this nigga out of many a night. You know what I mean? Got his ass together and showed him what he needed to do. Okay, nigga, you want me to do this? It's no problem. I got that. But uh first we're gonna need some hygiene going on. We're gonna need this all I done bed bath this motherfucker to death. All kinds of shit. Get it to what I need to do so therefore I can do what I need. I can put the demo down. I can't put the demo down if some shit is out of whack, you know what I'm saying, out of compliance. I can't do it. You be wondering why a woman don't want to go down with your motherfucking ass because it be some problems, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes, ladies, you got to show them where to go head on and get that ass so then therefore they'll know, oh, okay, she want it clean like that. Okay, then there's no problem, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to show them. So, but yeah, this is what I use, and I've also used it on his feet as well and got the crust off his but, yeah, and then once you begin to do these types of things, after a while, your body just stays soft. Because, actually, I think this shit is from his goddamn feet, personally. To be honest with you, the last time I used this, I used this on his goddamn... You know what? Let me put that motherfucker down. I'm tripping. 
Yeah, shit, I'll use that on this guy there. I'm just, what? Knowing damn well I'm a germaphobe. And shit, I just done put all this shit on my goddamn hands. Oh, my God, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I done had that all on my goddamn hands. Excuse me. Mm. Now, um, and I also love this Egyptian goddess oil. Oh, my God. My, my big sissy. Loretta sent this to me. I know y'all always say, Loretta, who is she? God damn, I need that fairy godmother. Yeah. But see, um, she sent me this, and oh my God, this. You see, it's gone. I ain't got but a drop in it. I savor it. I savor it. Oh my God, I got one little drop left, but this is the best shit in the world. Oh my God, Loretta sent this to, to me. I don't know exactly where she got it from. But this, oh my God, I need another one. I'm going to I'm I'm hit her up and let her, I need her to tell me. Because I need this. I need another one of these. And it lasts me a long time. Because actually, after I um, moisturized with this right here, I just hit this at dab here. You know, I just bop, boop, boop, boop. Because you got to go between these motherfuckers because niggas like to put their head in there and just do all this right here. So, yeah, when they put their head up in there and do all this right here, you know what I'm saying? You got to have it ready. You know what I'm saying? You got to pressure point that ass. So, you put just a little bit up in here, right here. You're going to put it on the, right there on the, on the V, right there on the side, okay? On the side of the labia majora. Labia majora is the big lips on the outside where the hair grow. But you want to put this right here, right there on that little pressure point right there where the heartbeat is at. All of them pressure points right there when you put body oil and your perfumes and things, it makes it linger a longer time. Yeah, you know I'm saying? I'm just telling you the truth. I didn't make the shit up. I'm just telling you. So, yeah, I put this and I throw a little bit behind my knee and put something around that navel. Now, you also, girls, if you don't clean that goddamn navel, I'm going to need you to go in there with the washcloth, put it up on this right here, and go up in that navel and clean that motherfucker. Because it could not be your coochie that's smelling. It could be your navel. And that's for men and women, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker do get a little tart. You might want to, you know what I'm saying, check that motherfucker out next time. Run a little water through it. Because that motherfucker do have the tendency of smelling. It smell bad, too. And you don't want to do that to nobody. So, anyway. Now, in here, um, let's see. I got some sugar scrubs and things. So, um, yeah. So, and I use my sugar scrubs and all that kinds of stuff, too. That stuff is a little, now I'm kind of, you know, feeling the witch away because I done touched that damn thing. Got me itching and shit. You know what I'm saying? Make me feel like something. I don't know. Could be just me. But anyhow, uh, I just wanted to come in with a little hygiene and a little coochie care for my girls on how to stay, you know what I'm saying, supple and soft and sweet and edible ready and gushy and cupcakey and all that old type of shit. They like that kind of shit, girls. You know what I'm saying? Give him, give him, you know what I'm saying? Give him what, give him what he desires and he's going to give you what you need. You know what I mean? You know, it kind of works hand in hand, you know? I mean, you can't be no nasty motherfucker and expect this nigga to do all this right. He ain't going to do it. You know what I mean? Have it ready for him. Brothers, have it ready for him. You know what I mean? You ain't got to ask when you got some Mac right. On that note, I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. This is what's up. Come get what you need when you need it. I'm out. Deuces. Holla at your girl. Bye.